Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Leo. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week ahead. So this is going to be the week of July 6th through the 12th. It's going to be you and the other person, so I want you to start thinking about one person in particular right now. This side is going to be your side, this side is going to be theirs. The middle card is going to be the connection or the resolution or the overall energy or whatnot. Okay, so start thinking about this person, all right? So what do we have for Leo for the week ahead, July 6th through the 12th? This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What do we have for Leo? What do we have for Leo? The sun reversed, okay. That's the overall energy, so that's not happy. That's not happy, that's that's uh, not in good health. Um, lack of growth of some sort. Sorry, I gotta let my cat out, which is interesting right when I start the reading. Um, sorry about that. So, there's lack of growth, unhappy. So, the overall energy is there's no growth here. There's there's something going on. There's sadness. Um, unhealthy. There's unhealthy. This is a loss of personal power. Somebody's not being honest with themselves. There could be some loneliness due to dis disillusionment. Okay, that is the meaning of the card. I can't change it. I'm sure somebody can can for you. You know, they can make it be something it's not, but I'm not going to do that. This is poor logic. Okay, there's false impressions here. Somebody is pretending that they're healthy or they're pretending that they're happy and they're not. Okay, now let's talk. And whether it's you or them, I don't know. Something isn't growing. Ooh, the unknown card. Ace of Cups reversed and the Two of Cups reversed. Yikes! Yikes! So that is not good. I'm sure a lot of you don't want to hear this because you this is somebody that is overly optimistic, wants everything to be positive, that, but it's not real. Okay, you got to be realistic here. If this is this is disillusionment, loneliness due to disillusionment. This is a message that you need to hear. You have to wake up, okay? So the outcome is in your hands. The outcome is in your hands. If you are pretending that you're healthy or you're pretending that you're happy or, you know, you're in some sort of fantasy land or those disillusioned mindset, then you're not going to be getting anything positive because it's not real. Now, this is a lack of self-love. Um, I think it's a very emotional time right now. Obviously, there's a separation here. There's no union. Okay, there's no union. It's a separation. There's a disconnection. There's a detachment. It's, there's, the, the, the future is in your hands, but you've got to be realistic. The need to be realistic is real here. Not everything is always positive. This is somebody who is overly positive. Only focuses on the positive in reverse. No. You need the negative. You need to accept the negative to uh, appreciate the positive. Life isn't always positive. The other person, tower reversed. The chariot reversed and death. Wow, these are all majors. These are all majors over here. So you're 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 dealing with a person that is going through a major transformation right now. This is a card transformation, this is a card transformation, this is a card transformation. Whoever you are dealing with is going through some severe uh, whoever you're asking about is going through some profound life changes right now. They are experiencing disharmony in their life. There's, they're experiencing disruption in their life, whoever you're dealing with. They uh, 
can't master their emotions. They don't have any discipline. They uh, are lacking, um, uh, what's the word for it? Direction. Whoever you are questioning is lacking direction. They're, they're going through a major life event, whoever, whoever you're asking about. They're, they're disruptive, okay? There, there's, there's emotional outburst here with the chariot at, at reversed. Whoever you are asking about is very, uh, it's messy put it that way this person is uh inter has internal disruptions okay internally mentally perhaps this person is a, a wreck okay a train wreck this per whoever you are asking about is ex going through some life changing uh circumstances that are causing them major disruption on the inside okay their their whole life is crumbling around them everything is crumbling and I feel like whoever you're dealing with is uh, uh, struggling, struggling big time. They're struggling to release, uh, maybe they're struggling to release you. I don't know what the case is, but there's, there's, there's a need to release. The death card is destruction, and this is destruction, and it's extreme. Ext when if this card comes out in reverse, it's not about avoiding, okay? It's extreme. This is extremely disruptive, extreme upheaval, extreme health problems. This is a permanent loss. Okay, this is a permanent loss. Whoever you are asking about is going through such a major life change that when they get, come out, they will not be the same person. Okay, there's really nothing you can do. You're, you, can, you can go in there and try to coddle them and say all these positive, kind words that are fake. That's not going to change anything. It's not going to change a damn thing. This person has to change themselves. There's not one thing you can do. Not one thing. This is extremely uh, chaotic. Extremely Okay, whoever you are asking about is hiding behind a mask. This person's emotions are all over the place. It's out of control. This person is out of control. Okay, and they're going to experience some sort of major disruption or loss in their life that, you know, causes a very significant ending for them. There's, this is a, and it's interesting because these two are mirroring each other. This is a separation, and this is a separation. So you guys are separating. You are separating from this person, okay? And you can't pretend that everything is going to be okay because everything is not going to be okay. It's not. This is the end. It's the end of this union. It's the end of this partnership. There's, there's no turning back. It cannot be avoided, okay? So this is the death of a situation. It is. This is, this is, uh, I mean, the chariot reversed is a dead stop. This is a dead stop. There's going to, there could be an angry, there could be a fight or an outburst that causes, you know, an ending. So whoever you're asking about is not headed in the right direction, but they are going to be experiencing some sort of major shocking universal change that forces them. This is going to be forced. This is, you know, these are all universe. Okay. This is universe is, is going to uh, push this person into a new life. They're, they're causing this person's, uh, disruption the universe is is breaking this person down bringing this person to their knee, knees because whoever this person is that you are asking about needs a life change this is an ending this is a major loss it is so whoever you are asking about there's there's no moving forward with this person okay there isn't And I think there's a lot of tears and there's a lot of sadness over the separation. I think that you're experiencing that. But you have to, you have to accept 
you have to accept that if you're dealing with somebody that is so unhealthy that you, there's nothing you can do to fix it. They have to rebuild themselves. You can't rebuild them. Okay? So let's get some more cards. Death. Death is an ending. It's the death of a person or a situation. It is. We do that. This person is whoever you're asking about is going to go through a major, 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 major life change that is going to uh, basically force them to rebuild and start over. Knight of Swords, this is all of a sudden, and this is all of a sudden. This is a sudden change. It's a sudden death or a sudden ending. It's all of a sudden. This is coming to a complete stop. A dead stop. So whoever you are, you're going to be stopped in their tracks. Remember I said this was a train wreck? This, this, this train is coming to a stop. This is like a disaster ahead. Whoever you're asking about. Now the Knight of Swords is, it's a sudden departure. Or, or something, or a sudden arrival. This is blunt. This is blunt. Um, this is some sort of... This could even be a law official coming into this person's life. This is an individual that um, sometimes doesn't think. They just... They, usually they do, though has no fear. This person is fearless. They, they, they move very, very fast. And this is moving fast. And this one is out of control. You could be dealing with somebody that is out of control and they could get, you know, this is good. They could be an accident. I'm just being honest with you. This person is in a hurry. They're always in a hurry. They're going against the flow. Queen of Swords. Now, the Queen of Swords is a professional. That is a professional, a speaker, or could be the law. This is somebody that is very intelligent, very smart, that is making a decision. This somebody could be being sent away as well. We have an individual that is very dysfunctional, whoever you're asking about. This dys dysfunctional individual is going to be, I don't know, maybe they're going to be arrested. They could be arrested. They could be taken away. They could even, uh, you know, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but it doesn't look good. Anyhow, the Queen of Swords is, is uh, somebody that is very authentic, that knows the truth, that speaks the truth. Thinking fast, need to think fast. Be honest with yourself. You may need to protect yourself. This is defend yourself as well. You may need to protect yourself from this person. I think that you should protect yourself from this person. This person is very, very, could be angry with these two cards. There could be a fight. Whoever you're asking about is, uh, Definitely upset. They are upset and they are up angry, upset. So you are dealing with somebody that is upset. And they could get themselves in trouble. They could. They could get themselves in trouble with the law. They could even, you know, um, show up on your doorstep. You know, they're angry. They're upset. And I think that you need to protect yourself from this person. Um, they're not thinking clearly. This person is not thinking clearly. You may have to think fast. You may have to think fast. Um, well, this card just fell out. Ace of Pentacles. Now, this is on your side. This is a loss. You need to accept that this isn't stable. This isn't secure. This isn't real. Okay? A reality check is needed.
there's 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 lack of clarity here i think that you you know this is like a broken marriage or a broken friendship or whatever it is and and you you're you, you may have been pretending that everything is okay with this person this it's not okay this is poor logic this is very 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 unhealthy so you are dealing either is we got one person here that is very or both i think both okay by the looks of things this is an unhealthy partnership. It's an unhealthy union where you need to accept the reality that this isn't going to work out. This is a false sense of security. It is a false impression. It is, is a false foundation that crumbled for a reason. You need to be honest with yourself and you need to protect yourself. You need to release this person. This person is going, going to be... Uh, experiencing a major disruption probably within the next couple of days okay and I and, and whatever is happening I feel like you are going to be experiencing a loss this or you're going to be experience it's going to be very emotional for you you may not be able to control your tears um, I think that you have this unknown card you probably have no idea this is something you never saw coming Okay, this somebody could show up that you never saw coming. This person, you never saw them coming. So I, you know, I think that you need to be very, 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 very careful. Um, and I'm not trying to scare anybody. Now, this could even be an accident. So if you are rushing out of control, because this is rushing, going too fast, both of these cards, you know, there could, you just, you need to slow down. You know, this is the the sun reverse is somebody who's overly op optimistic, overly positive. Oh, nothing's going to happen to me. This is all of a sudden, this is a shock. This is a shock. So whoever you asked about, there's going to be a shocking development, put it that way. A shocking departure, I think. A sudden ending. This person is 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 out of control. Whoever you asked about, I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is somebody who is very. Uh, well, this Queen of Swords, the Queen of Swords is somebody that is very intelligent, very sharp. This person has some sort of information, okay, has some sort of shocking information that may cause disruption for whoever it is. Maybe it's for you. If you're asking about this person, this person has some sort of information that could cause some disruption for you. This is a speaker. This person communicates, could be a public speaker. This is very scattered energy. Emotional outburst, disaster ahead. What is going on? This is a disaster ahead with whoever you asked about. All of a sudden. I think there's going to be some sort of sadness, some sort of some sort of tears that are shed. Nine of Cups. This person is very comfortable, very um, egotistical, has it all, appears to have it all. Clueless. We, I feel like we have. Some, this is somebody who this person is clueless, totally unaware that uh, there's going to be. Um, something's going to happen, put it that way. Just sitting here, you know, enjoying life. Uh, what is it? Blowing bubbles by the looks of things. Could be smoking a cigarette because of the smoke. I mean, somebody could be smoking it. I don't, I don't see the cigarette, but somebody's just sitting around, you know, just nice and content, thinking everything is good. Where when I mean, somebody just, you know, runs into them.
does not have to be smoking a cigarette. This person seems to be in a, you know, a spot where they're very, very comfortable. They're relaxing and somebody just, boom, shows up. And it is a boom. So anyway, Leo, I feel like this week there's going to be some turbulence with whoever it is that you asked about. Okay. Um, Six of Cups. It's somebody that... Uh, you have some sort of connection with in the past. It could have something to do with a mother and a child. Now this is sadness. This is about innocence. There's memories. There's a lot of memories. There's nostalgia. You may be... You may be uh, feel, you may be dealing with some memories this week of whatever this is with this person feeling nostalgic. Uh, there's definitely some sadness here. So there's going to be some sadness and I think it's over some sort of loss. I do. There's, there's some bad news coming. Okay. That is bad news coming. Some, a message you don't want to hear. We have an individual that has probably acted impulsively. And they get themselves in a situation that <sighs> leads them down the wrong road, put it that way. Six of Swords reverse. This is a stop. This is refusing. This is not going anywhere. Stopped. Somebody's going to be stopped in their tracks. They are. Whoever it is that you asked about between you and them, I think this is over. That phase, that chapter, that, that uh, connection that you had with this person is done. It's over. You're going to be going in a new direction and they are as well. That's what I got. Good luck.